Um, it's broken down in terms of class. It's certainly broken down uh, in terms of race. Um, and of course, the hardest to reach, and it seems to me deserve disproportionate amount of the money are those who speak another language, especially Spanish. Uh, and that is where I fear the greatest uh, uh, undercount among the most rapidly growing part of our population. I think that we already have scared the bejesus out of many of the legal Hispanics who've been here for a long time, just don't want to have anything to do with the government. So I, I believe that you would guide the subcommittee to have confidence in what you're doing with your media buys as between print and, and uh, broken down even in the print uh, and uh, other media if we could have a uh, further breakdown from you, sir. And certainly. All right. Thank you so much, Ms. Norton. And uh, as usual, she got the last word. Uh, that concludes this hearing, uh, and there will be plenty to follow. Hearing adjourned. Oh, that's good, I guess. <laughs> Tickles. <laughs> oh, come on, Jenna. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's it, Care. Come on, Care. We're lying. <laughs> Airlines big and small need them, and you can become one of them. Start your career as a certified aviation maintenance technician with training from the Aviation Institute of Maintenance. Our real-world instructors will give you hands-on experience with the sophisticated systems inside today's most advanced airplanes. Call now and rise above the rest. Call the Aviation Institute of Maintenance at 888-216-0402. That's 888-216-0402. The one you love could be carrying cold and flu viruses. Fact, the flu virus can live on surfaces for days. So before your child picks it up, pick up Lysol Disinfectant Spray. It has the power to kill harmful cold and flu viruses on commonly touched surfaces. Lysol is the number one brand recommended by pediatricians. Lysol, disinfect to protect. For additional cold and flu protection, use Lysol Disinfecting Wipes. There's a critical demand for qualified medical assistance, and Centura College can help fill that need. For life-changing careers, it's all in the numbers. Over 30 years of quality education, 35% projected employment growth through 2016, 3 million new healthcare positions in the next decade. At Centura, get better training, better career placement, and a better way to change your life. Call Centura College at 877-206-3378. Everybody loves Raymond tonight at 10 on My 20.
The Potomac is America's river, rolling past our nation's capital and George Washington's home. But now it's home to 200 tons of trash left here every year. The good news is we can clean it up with volunteers like you. Join us April 4th for the annual Potomac River Cleanup. Let's keep our river safe and beautiful. Go to TrashFreePotomac.org. Carrie! Carrie, is lunch ready? Sure, you know my name when you want food. <laughs> oh, hi. Hi. This bandit's been itching me. Oh, let me get that for you. Ow! What are you doing? Well, you were just picking at it like a little girl, okay? It was annoying. He's snapping at me all day. What's up? Why don't you ask Inez what's up? Inez? You mean the girl from Lens Crafters? You tell me. What are you talking about? Okay, well, while you were in the hospital after the surgery, when you were sleeping, you were moaning all these girls' names. What? Yeah. Oh, Candace. Oh, Inez. Oh, Tanya. Sick of it. Oh, those weren't girls. I was having a dream where I was helping someone name a litter of puppies. <laughs> Well, apparently, two puppies named Brittany and Christina were making out with you in a limo. That's because I had treats in my pocket. <laughs> Fine, look, maybe I was having some kind of crazy dream, but you, you know I love you. You know I'm totally attracted to you. It's just like any guy. Once in a while, an image of another woman just pops into my head for like a second. But you're my lady, you're my honey. <laughs> oh, that's funny, because your honey's name didn't come up. <laughs> there was a Caroline and uh, a car wash girl, but no Carrie. That's because I don't need to fantasize about you, okay? You're the living fantasy that I'm honored to share oh, my life with. Oh, would you shut him. up? Look, I know it's normal, okay? But, I mean, there I was in the hospital room feeling sorry for you, and the next thing I know, you're fantasizing about cheating on me with all these skanks. It hurts. I wasn't cheating, okay? Doug, we're married, okay? I'm your wife, and you're doing stuff in your head with them. How is that not cheating? It's just not. How? You're not there. I'm not there. Well, I'm not in the room. I'm not in the country. What? You're not... alive. <laughs> okay, so let me get this straight. In your fantasies, you kill me? No. No, I don't. It's the rare disease that kills you. <laughs> or the bolt of lightning. <laughs> Definitely not me. Ow! That wasn't ready to come off yet! Let me explain, yeah, okay? please, Doug. Explain to me why I shouldn't be upset that you want me dead. I don't want you dead. You got it all wrong. I mean, the truth is, I love you so much that I could never even imagine cheating on you. So the only way I could have any fantasies at all is if you're up there. So to avoid the guilt of adultery, you choose murder? Again, not murder. In my fantasies, you're always taken from me tragically. I'm devastated. I give myself two years to grieve. After that, even your friends are like, you gotta move on. And would one of those friends be Lisa, my friend you're always checking out? She may be one of those consoling me, yes. And do you end up sleeping with her? God's sakes, it's been two years. Oh my God. Okay. So what I'm getting here is I'm electrocuted and you're boffing my friend. 